Hi guys, so as promised, uh, the last video that I did about the installing of the carpet eater, I have someone here very, very special that will help me to install it. And oh, oh, who, who's there? Who's there? Oh, yes. So <laughs> we have the Nomad Sweden team Hello, here. Hi. So let me show you all the team. We have Hello. Stefan, we have Tony, and of course, we have Robert. But there's somebody missing, guys. Why? Yeah, it's more. Uh, his home uh, building on his new house. He has to be out yeah. of his apartment. <laughs> All right. So as I said, we will take a look of the carpenter. We'll try to install the controller and let Robert explain to us what we can do with this uh, device in terms of software. Yeah. Okay, so come along with me with us in the garage. Okay, so let's start. Let's try to install the controller. Yeah, let's put it in there, this baby. Uh, we have the charging pins in there, in the back, but this is really good to have extra because the charging pins, if it gets bumpy, does not always charge. So this one is quite important to have also i think it's supplied you got it with you when you ordered yeah yeah absolutely yeah, yeah it's supplied yeah i had to get it extra <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i'm i'm a little bit special you know yeah so, so so this is of course three parts yeah you have the carp uh, eater pad device correct which is the android uh, pad okay and then the software i mean you can run whatever on this it's an android pad but then you have the software which is the uh, dmd um yeah yeah DMD. dmd yeah yeah but uh, drive mode dashboard ah, yeah. yes um, uh, actually i taught him to say that you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just got <laughs> We had this lovely dinner, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and wine and yeah, beer yeah, and yeah. so yeah. so the pad, the software, and then uh, we have the controller. Yes, here. And so here is my problem, Robert, because the controller is physically connected to the bike, but not yet connected to the tablet. So yeah. I think we should do that. <laughs> and and I think the most important part here is the software. Okay. And the controller, because. This is really nothing without a controller. The controller yeah. is the big thing here because you're riding and you're looking at the maps and and you don't you can can't let go of the steering wheel and start pinching and swiping and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just ride and the controller is the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and great. You can use any rugged uh, mobile or Android. yes. Hi there. Or Android device for yeah, the yeah. actual tablet. The, the the carpet pad is designed for, you know, IP67 or 67, 67 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, firmware uh, created to withstand heat and manage charging depending yeah. on the temperature. Great. So it's nice. And like you were telling me the day before that the, the thing that is absolutely great about this is that he's the creator of the software is constantly developing the software and creating a hub for owners and we will have constant yeah. updates and so, so the beginning of this project was to have a launch pad something for your bike and you have the apps okay but then it grew and then they developed the, uh, their own maps and and functionality for, for the software yes um, so and and every feature that they add will remove the need for any special apps that you ah, add to it. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're so, right. So right now you have the ability here on the start screen to have, you have the speed and distance and blah, 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 everything like that. You can add widgets. We've installed the weather radar widget. So yeah, you can yeah, see the correct. rain areas in front of you. And you have the apps that you want to access. Uh, isn't that great, all of that? But just by riding so you're riding and you're seeing the weather in front of you and the the raindrops and everything yeah. it's absolutely great yeah absolutely so and and the main feature uh, that that i like to use is uh of course the the map itself it's yeah. uh, it's based on open street maps or uh similar and but it's really 
um, colored and and made for you can even see what is a gravel road and what is asphalt and so on depending yeah. on on the uh, things here and you have the uh, yeah s small widgets that you can add and also if you have the odb ah yes connected to the bike yeah you you can have everything from the engine and the bike up there oh. and there's a display also with the uh, rpms and then Super. engine temperature and gear and and every yeah. everything like and that. because a lot of people would ask okay so you, do you need or you don't need the internet to run it so yeah uh you can have your own sim card in it that's great that's yes. absolutely great it but, actually um, did that <laughs> yes yes i i have it too and it's uh, quite convenient but all the maps with with the pad or actually with dmd uh, dmd the software yes uh, you can have a phone and dmd yeah but still if you have that software you have uh, all the world of offline offline yeah. yeah and you can put your own you input your own gpx files into there yeah. and follow the the basically the line on the planet yeah 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 so so you don't really need of course if you have some widgets for the weather you need the internet of course of course of course yeah but to to use it the way uh, properly you you don't need it yeah. at all yes so, but but if you don't have the sim card you can still uh, internet share from your phone and oh it, yes yes that's great yeah that. yeah ah, very so, nice but and, and that's nice and, and yeah before we go to the controller we can have just uh, look this is the yeah. dashboard yeah and uh, we have the map uh for all the world and you have romania yes 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 and here's a gpx file that yeah yeah it, that's just actually the tet yeah, yeah and if i i can do things and change color on that i want it red because it's yeah. my color <laughs> uh, <laughs> things like that and it it does not yet have turn by turn navigation, navigation. but will it come in the future or yes but ah. I never had turn by turn. Yeah. I, I want the map. I want to see the line and follow it or not. Or not. Yeah. Yes. And, bravo. And, uh, yeah. If I, and if I leave in it. Anyway, I... if you need navigation inside of a big city to find an address or something, you can use Google Maps or yeah, Waze yeah. or anything else. But, but there are constantly new updates. Uh, sometimes every week there's something new and you... you if you follow the DMD page on Facebook, you will get constant updates. Uh, this is what's new, but this is what I'm working on right ah, now. Ah, yes. And there's so much fun stuff coming. <laughs> oh. I mean, full, full navigation, but made for off-road. Oh. Yeah, so, so you can choose, I want to go there, but what kind of trails do i want to get there yeah and w once on the trail what is the distance that i have made up until then and when i when i want to see a sp specific point what is the distance to that specific point yeah following the trail yeah and following the yeah, trail yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, that is all coming but also there's a community thing coming also requiring internet uh, of course but if you have buddies with the same software, you can see where they are on the map. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my yeah. God. Very so, nice. So it, it's really oriented, uh, targeted to adventure riding and groups yes. and, and things like that. Super cool. So, so yeah, we, we have the map. We have, uh, we have this is the normal apps, uh, Android apps that you have and yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on, on it. Um, this is brightness and one good thing with this actual pad you don't need the pad for the software but for this carpe Ita pad it's very bright oh yes uh and it's stated to be 1000 nits yeah which is absolutely or banana so whatever <laughs> yes uh, yeah 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 uh, like that and this i will show you how to con control this with a controller here oh yeah also. oh yeah um, I, that's the roadbook application there Yes. Yes. Uh, so you have here the, mm, the the trip master. Yeah. And here you can input your PDF with a roadbook. Absolutely, and and you control it, and that's I mean you don't do that with your hands. Oh. You, you do that here, and you control the trip meter, and you can configure this 
professionally. So, so if you feel that the one who made the roadbook has a different configuration or it's go, uh, going a bit off, you can calibrate it. Let's go one percent slower or faster or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. And you you can make the the, the screen here with the, yeah the way you want. And now there's no PDF file loaded. Yeah. Uh, we have the ODB screen also, but. Um, we're showing you this now, but Joao at uh, Thorpe Racing, he's uh, developing a whole new mega update. So it's quite soon this video will be a bit outdated because yeah, yeah. there's a lot of changes coming. Um, you have this. I like this actually because, yeah, you have this big display. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But I have the T7. Okay. Which uh, shows uh, the happy speed. It's not the true speed. It's, yeah. Yeah, uh, but but here I can see ex the exact speed. So, yeah. but but there's there's another thing. So, this tablet is quite expensive. The system is quite expensive. So it's around to have it all, you need around one thousand two hundred, one thousand three hundred euros. Okay. Yeah. Depending on your location. Yeah. But look at it as an advent uh, investment because if I sell this bike. I can take away my carpet eater and my system and put it on the new bike. Yeah. Whether it's a T7, whether it's the CRF, whether it's any type of bike that I would have, uh, yeah, I can take with me. With yeah. me. And, and the expensive part is actually the least important part, uh, speaking for myself, because you have the software that's about 10 euros. Bravo. Uh, yeah. For lifetime. And you have the controller that's this new adventure controller what is it Two, yeah 297 something yeah, like yeah, that yeah yeah uh, something like that yeah yeah 300 euros so that's but then you can start by using your old samsung phone or whatever because this is what makes it really nice yeah so let's let's try install that let's actually. try yeah so from the start page go to controllers and is it online? Yeah. Actually, this is the new adventure controller. I had the old one, so <laughs> I never used it. So let's just click connect. Searching for carpet controller, press, wait. Yes, and- uh, Device found, connecting. Please wait while the connection is established. Okay, so it found the controller. Yeah, and uh, let's test the connection by pressing the controller keys. Connection, uh, we pressed enter. Zoom in, zoom out, right, left, up, down, finish setup. So now you don't have ever to uh, bother about the uh, connection again. Okay. So whenever you put it in there, you start it up. Okay. Your controller will work with it. Okay. So now so you, we have the controller, which is the, the joystick. Okay. And we have sort of a enter option button. option yeah, or yeah. enter, and you have plus uh, minus plus minus zoom in zoom out or move up or move down or whatever. So if I move this, oh you go, yes, go right. So you're on the map, yeah. And now down here, yeah, you can see my thumb. yeah 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 yeah. So I can zoom out. Uh, let's zoom in a bit here. Oh, so nice. But also, if I go left now. I change screen, but on this option button, you can press and hold it. So now we're actually just moving oh, around the map. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very nice. That's cool. That's really cool. And if I long press it again, it's yeah, like that. So I can, and then up down, we have the, because all, every little feature in the software works with the controller works with the controller oh. so it's all designed to work with the controller so um yeah like that so if we go left here and we look up a bit and 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 let's say i want normally if i physically press this button it will it will show the map where i am how yeah. can i do that with the controller uh, to press this one yeah you you have this one okay this button press it once it goes to where you are Oh. And every time you oh. press it, it scrolls through the three modes. Okay. So since we're not moving, you cannot see it now. But okay. 
this is the first mode, which is the map is moving. Yes. Um, and and the dot... and we are stationary. Stationary. Yes. The dot is stationary. Yeah. So the dot will disappear. Okay. Yeah. But and the second mode uh, is it the, it scrolls the map and and the dot is always in the middle. Okay. So up is north. Up is so north. you always know yeah. where where you're going. Yeah. So whether it's and, west and, and east and the third mode is uh, directional you always see front and the the map is rotating so yeah, yeah. up is always the heading yeah yeah where you're going and you can see also here that you can have it top down or you can have Tilted it more and, to see oh, further yeah. down but again i did that with my hands but everything you can have uh, uh, choose with the uh, with the um, controller with the controller. So yeah. map type, maps manager, blah blah blah, everything like that. So and then uh, press and hold. Okay. Oh, sorry, I uh, haven't learned this myself yet. Let's see where we find that. There we have it, I think. Yes. Um, yes, this one. Yeah, let's uh, go out of that one again. Yeah, no, it's... so you have the plus and minus key. Yeah, that's if correct. you press and hold either one of them. Okay. You get to uh, the sort of you. This will be brought up whatever app you have. Okay. Google Maps or whatever. If you press and hold this one. Okay. You will get, for instance, press up for brightness. And then you can raise or lower. lower the brightness or you can set it to auto and set manual and so on go back press there disable touch okay. is quite nice okay and then you go back because now you cannot do anything ah very so, nice so, so when it's raining it's raining or you're riding it's full of dust yeah you uh, i uh, usually go in here press and hold and click in, uh, disable touch and go back out. Yeah. And then I do like this. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. That's yeah. that's wow. And then I can enable touch again and exit. So I never used this one, but already. <laughs> it's yeah, quite it's intuitive. familiar. Yes, yeah, it's intuitive. Yeah, yeah. So so you will learn the exact. Did, 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 so you don't have to look at uh, the control or anything. You just bah, 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 move. Very nice. And I'm That's actually great. impressed with uh, joystick. This, this new joystick because it's it's very it's moving a lot more and it's it's more because when you're going and it's rugged and things are happening. You have big movement, movements. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's other true. one was more sensitive and small movement. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if you were going and you easily made a mistake. Yeah, so, yeah, that's correct. So, so this is much more rugged in that way. So, uh, the yeah, I, I use it right now while transporting and so on. I use a different app because I use navigation to get there. That's true. Uh, but that is a feature coming uh, to do that within the DMD. But for GPX files, I use nothing else. I record where I'm going and I have loaded GPX yeah, yeah. with everything, the waypoints. <laughs> and a thing that you haven't, um, that you don't see on this screen is that if you have waypoints and you have GPX files loaded, you, uh, things pop up on the left side here saying, Oh, you're close to a GPX file and you have this. And, yeah, that, and if that's on, nice. And if you're on the GPX file, you see a progress bar. Ah. Yeah. So you have now completed 20% of that. Bah, bah, bah. So if you know, for example, your complete route is 500 kilometers. So you completed half 250 kilometers already. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's you nice. That. Yeah. That's nice. So, it's so, really nice. But, but a lot of, he gets a lot of uh, suggestions and he's really implementing everything fast. Yeah. yeah you, you, you configure the screens the way you want it and yeah you go between your ride let's only go for for speed now let's go back to the map and let's uh, zoom, zoom in, in here where we are or yeah let's uh, look ahead here and see uh, zoom out a bit and you, you do all this without thinking you just and yeah. it's very intuitive yes yeah so 
I don't see any way if, if that you can do this with any other setup. No, no. I'm As I, I said also in the installation uh, video, in my opinion, this is the best way or the more the most advanced way of navigating on and off road for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have the apps for normal uh, normal uh, mobile phones. Yeah, it's it's and a blend. Yeah, between and, a GPS and apps. Yeah, exactly. And and you have the controllers. Yeah. Uh, Garmin makes apps for riding, but I don't understand why they don't let you control it from the handlebars. <laughs> yes. And and the processors are really really slow. Yeah. Really slow. That's and, true. And, and, and this is fast. Yeah. That's and, true. And the bright and, and the great screen. Plus it's developed by a guy who's actually riding and testing yeah. and listening to suggestions and from riders. Th this is just uh, the beginning because there's so much coming yeah. and constantly every new feature. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's close also to the developer because if you're on advrider.com, the, the forum for ADV, there's a... D and D forum. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There's a whole discussion, and the developers are in there also. Yeah. And yeah, that's a good idea. And next week you have. have <laughs> yes. yeah, uh, like so that that's great. I, the 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 battery is dying because we played a little bit before the video. We played with it. I was so curious of asking Robert how to do that, how to do this. So, so here yeah, we need to go, uh, to cut it short because I can talk about this all night. Yeah, <laughs> we need to cut it short. Plus. Uh, the crew, they're on their way to this year's adventure ride, so they're going uh, down in Turkey. They had to stop to move in because I'm such a great guy, so sorry. Uh, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not a joke, it's not a joke. <laughs> Thank you. We cannot pass within a thousand kilometers without going into Mirvini. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet so that's me. Dragos. So, yeah, they're on their way to the great Turkish adventure, so yeah, we have to cut it short, we have to go back to our beers. Yeah, thank you so much, Robert, for explaining us what's uh, what's up with this carpet eater pad. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great, great ride, Robert. Uh, I'm so sorry that I'm not seeing Seymour this year, but for sure next year I will see yeah, him. Yeah. And now let's go back and drink. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.